Welcome to the video on slope and y-intercept. We know that when we're given an equation, we can identify the slope and the intercept. When given a graph, we can do the same. And when given a table of values, we can identify slope and intercept. Let's take a look at our equation. We know that 2, the coefficient in front of x, represents the slope, and negative 1 represents the intercept. This equation is given in slope-intercept form. Let's quickly review some important points about slope. We know slope is represented by the variable m. It is the ratio delta y, change in y, over change in x. It is also referred to as the rise over the run. In either case, the numerator controls the movement up or down, and the run, the denominator, controls the movement to the right. Slope is traditionally seen as a ratio. So if we're given a slope of 2, we would represent it as a ratio of 2 over 1. For every 2 units up, we move 1 unit to the right. Slope is also referred to as the rate of change. As we begin to use slope-intercept form in word problems and story problems, you'll often hear the slope referred to as the rate of change, sometimes referring to the growth that occurs within a problem. When it comes to the y-intercept or your b-value, we know that's the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. But once again, as we move to story problems and word problems, you'll often hear the y-intercept referred to as the initial value or the start value. Let's take a look at the graph. Very quickly, for our graph, we can identify the slope. Take the point furthest to the left on the line. Go up to over one block to connect it to the next consecutive point. It is rising at a rate of up to over one. And continue the pattern just to check out that it rises at a consistent rate. And it, when it comes to the y-intercept or the initial start value, you can see that your b value equals negative one. And finally, when it comes to a table of values, we find our slope by examining the delta y, the change in y, and the change in x. Here you can see that y is increasing by 2 each and every time. And here you can see your x is increasing by 1 every time. So your slope is, again, 2 over 1. And your initial start value or your intercept, well clearly that's right here at a negative 1. Let's take a look at some word problems and see how rate of change is addressed in that word problem and how the initial value or your y-intercept is described in those word problems. This concludes your notes for page 15.